Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Recon Stewart and today we are continuing our tutorial for the recruit orientation check ride for the F-18 for the 476th virtual fighter group. And we just completed our instrument departure and now we need to go get some gas. So let's uh, head towards the tanker. Let's plug in their TACAN. Oh, TACAN. Let's do aerial refueling. Let's do Yankee. And let's plug in 8-0 Yankee. And we've got a TACAN set. It is 36 miles away. And I think they're at 18,000 feet, so we'll drop down to uh, 17,000 feet while we head that way. And let's adjust the scale on our HSI to represent the distance. And let's descend and turn 30 degrees right, 5 degrees down, and head for our tanker. All right, we will see you once we get close to our tanker. Oh, before we do that, let's dial in our radio station. Uh, let's go manual frequency. 336.6. Uh-oh. Oh, this is why. Try that again. There we go. 33660. Beautiful. Frequency is plugged in. And we are going to level off here at 15,000 and put ourselves on back on course for the tanker at TACAN 80 Yankee. All right. Let's take a quick break and we will rejoin you once we are closer. All right, everyone, we've got the tanker in sight. We are behind it at about 250 knots and try and uh, catch up to it. We need to do a little prep work here. So first we need to take our radar and place it into silent mode. We need to ensure that our master arm is off. It is. And we need to turn TACAN off. It is. Internal wing and fuel switches are set as desired. And external tanks are as desired. External lights as desired. Air refuel probe. Let's extend. And check fuel quantity. Let's go ahead and place our fuel quantity on our right DDI. Let's slow down here and contact the tanker. Shell. Request rejoin. Texaco, in field. One, one. Request rejoin. In field one, one. Texaco, proceed to pre contact at 18,000. Alright, so what I'm going to do is slow down. Uh, you need to try and figure out how fast your tanker's going. It takes a little bit of guesswork. Um, and I need to place the. Uh, pylon in which the uh, refueling drogue is going to come out of. I want to place that at the top of my inner part of my HUD and try and maintain that as I close the distance. As I get closer, I will ask for pre-contact and we will start refueling. If I am flying formation off of the plane and the pylon. I am not looking at the drogue. So I'm speeding up here at about 245 knots, 246, maybe 247, constantly maintaining adjustments on my throttle uh, so that I do not overshoot, but I do not lag behind either. Keeping the pylon at the top of my inner HUD, trying to maintain about 245 knots. This is very tedious, very difficult. Try not to get a death grip on your light stick and continually rocking those throttles. Ready, pre contact. Ready, pre contact. Clear contact. Uh, you can see the drogue now coming out from the leftmost pylon. We're maintaining. 
formation flight off of the uh, tanker and I'm keeping the pylon and the inside of my HUD and I'm gonna keep it just a little bit to the right of center and I'm gonna fly two four five knots approximately as I close keeping that pylon at the top of the HUD inner part of the HUD and just slightly right of center as I want to line up the drogue not looking at the drogue I'm looking at the pylon looking at the pylon contact, contact. okay still maintaining the pylon now I just have to fly formation off the jet easy easy throttle and stick movements as we refuel keeping that pylon right in the inner part of my HUD there I can see I'm slowly gaining on the tanker so I'm gonna pull the throttle back just a touch just a touch as I continue the refueling process looks like he's slowly turning left so I'm maintaining formation keeping the pylon in the center of my HUD Oh, pull back a little throttle I could see me creeping up on it and we're maintaining we're maintaining maintaining oh he's just leveled out and maybe is turning so let's turn with him add a little bit of throttle to stick with him during the turn getting a little loose here let's bring it back let's bring it back good pull out the throttle just a touch continue formation wiggle those toes no death grip wiggle those toes no death grip formation off the plane I'm not even looking at the drogue looking at that pylon trying to maintain it in the center of my HUD little throttle I can see I'm coming back away from the pylon I'm plugging in just a little throttle to keep me back in range I'm checking I just glanced I'm at 9400 fuel total I'm gonna go to 129 so let's just maintain pull back a little throttle I'm gonna keep that pylon in the center of my HUD and keep adjusting the throttles constantly adjusting the throttles to maintain my position in formation with the tanker Pulling back a little throttle, pulling back a little throttle, maintaining that pylon in the center of my HUD as best I can. We just crossed 11,000. 2,000 more pounds to go. We are clear. All right. And we are getting close. 1,000 more pounds, plugging in a little throttle. Plugging in a little throttle. I'm falling back. I want to maintain. I can see myself creeping up. Pulling the throttle back out. Pulling it out. Maintaining the center of my HUD on that pylon. Top center. We're about... Whoop. We just lost it for a second. Pulling back on the Transfer throttle. Complete. And there we go. Transfer complete. Disconnect. I am pulling back on the throttle to give the uh, tanker a little bit of airspace. I am checking my self, make sure there are no chicks in tow. I am letting him get ahead of me. I am descending slightly, and we're going to do our post air refueling. Let's see, IFE check fuel quantity is 12,890. Perfect. Air refuel probe retract. Beautiful. External tanks as desired. Exterior lights as desired. And we'll go radar back into operate mode. And that's it. That was uh, almost perfect tanking with a little disconnect at the end, but uh, it is not that hard. I find it a lot easier than the A-10. So let's go ahead and we will head back for Nellis. And um, we are going to do a TACAN recovery and get back on the airfield. So join us next time when we approach Nellis and do that recovery. This is Recon Stewart. Take care.